So hey everybody, just had some dryer issues. Um, my Samsung dryer that I've had for uh, going on eight years now, I fixed it. I replaced two heating elements in it. And I just had a problem where it was just uh, spinning, and I couldn't. It wouldn't shut off. I had. I mean, you would have to unplug it to shut it off. So uh, basically, guys. I'm not the, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not the guy who's going to tear it back apart and fix it again just to make a video. But what, what I will do is I'll tell you what I did. Um, and I figured this out by watching another guy on video, on, on uh, YouTube, one of his videos. I forgot the guy's name, but I'm going to include his link in the description box, okay? But I had to take this piece off. And behind here, or underneath here, there's a circuit board with a panel. I had to take that panel off, or take this, it's only two bolts that you gotta take off. One is here on the bottom and one on the other side. You don't have to worry about these bolts on the top. But uh, basically take this off, lay it on the top of the dryer, and uh, once you have access to that circuit board there, it's, a, it's covered, you take the cover off and you unplug the, uh, now this may not work for you. It worked for me and it worked for the guy on the video, but it may not work for you. Uh, but once you take that, <clears throat> once you take that cover off that circuit board, you unplug all of your cables, plug them back in and uh, before I even put everything back together, I tried it out. I, I plugged it in, and the first indication that it was working right was the dry didn't immediately turn on. That was great. As soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, maybe fix. But sure enough, after I uh, put everything back together, plugged it back in, and, uh, and I put it on dry for about five or six minutes, I opened it up, and uh, sure enough, it's still drying. It cuts on and off the right way now, and um, it's pretty cool. I, I can I can make this thing last for another eight years. Um, we just we had to replace the washer a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Uh, the washer, this is a whirlpool now, but it wasn't uh, the twin or the sister or brother to this Samsung, and. Uh, you know, after having so many issues with that, we had to uh, finally retire it. But yeah, guys, that's how you go ahead and if you're having that issue, the dryer is just spinning, won't shut off, it's not drying. And also another indicator is you. Um, the first thing I noticed is that this display was not working, but the dryer was on. Um, I had gone somewhere, came back, and the dryer should have been off by the time I got back, but it was still on. So uh, anyways guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this video. I hope it hope it uh, help you out. Help, help you guys out.